Okay, so let's see. Um, team. Uh, Gabriela and Karen, please. Okay. Uh, hello, Miss Miss Leon. Where do you work? I work at Condesa. And you? So hold on. Well, I work at Genetica Ganadera. Is there any restaurant next to your company? Yes, there is. Uh, McDonald's. There is a huge restaurant. By the way, are there any schools? Yes, there are a lot of uh, school, colegio, uh, school setting now. Is there a police station as your workplace? No, there isn't. Okay, thank you. Yes, there is. Uh, um, its name is Colegio Seren. Let's see. Um, thank you, yeah, ladies. Eduardo and Luis, you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Hello, Mr. Valdez. Where do you work? I work at Rodo. Huh? Well, I work, uh, perdón. No me preguntaron. <laughs> oh, no. And you? Well, I work at uh, Servito Total, me too. Is there any restaurant next to your work company? Yes, there is a uh, Pollo Campero. There is a Howl restaurant. By the way, are there any any hospitals, schools, banks? No. No. Are there any? Complete the sent the question. Any... Es que está difícil, teacher. Como le contamos, no hay muchos negocios cerca de ahí. Oh, yes, you said. <laughs> buildings, buildings. How about buildings? <laughs> Edificios, buildings? Houses, I don't know, yeah. buildings, renta, houses. Renta, ¿cómo se dice? Rent. Factor Factories. Factories. Factories, dejémoslo en factories. Okay, repeat yes, the question. There are a lot of... Ah, perdón. Okay, repeat the question, please. Oh. Yes, uh, just repeat the question. Okay. No, from Pedro. Yes, there is. There is a huge uh, restaurant, by the way. By the way, are there factory? Yes, there are lots of factories. Intradesa. Factories. Uh, factories. 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 Okay, so. Factories. 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 Mm -hmm. Continue. Yeah, okay. Yes, there are a lot of factories around. Is there a police station next you, to your workplace? Yes or no? So, somebody? <laughs> Eduardo? No, there is. No, there aren't, right? No, there aren't. Don't forget that. So look at this. By the way, are there any factories? Yes, there are a lot of factories around. Is there a police station next to your workplace? No, there isn't. 
Huh? No, there isn't, right? Okay. Let's see. Caesar, please. Okay, okay. Yes. Yes, teacher. Uh, so please, uh, the conversation. So okay. who are you working with? Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, ahorita viene Mirna. Okay, Mirna, hello, Mirna. Hello. Okay, so let's role play the conversation with Cesar. Sí. Okay. Okay. Start, Cesar. Hello. Ah, oh, okay. Hello, Mr. Cesar. Where do you work? Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Mr. Celaya, right? Mr. Celaya. Fabian Celaya. Uh -huh. Okay, voy a responder. What? Uh, mi comer, and you? Well, I work at is uh, is burger. Is there any restaurant? Next to your company. Oh yes, there is um, uh, a school. There is a whole restaurant. There are way earn they any pizza. Yes, there are a lot of restaurants. Um, Restaurant burger. Is there a police station next to your workplace? Next to your workplace? No, there isn't. Okay. Okay. So look at this. Um. <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> ya pasamos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so don't worry. Let's see. Hello, Miss uh, Mr. Celaya. Where do you work? I work at Unicomer. And you? Well, I work at Unicomer too. Is there any restaurant next to your company? Yes, there is. There is a burger. There is a huge restaurant. Its name is Burger King. By the way, are there, plural, are there any, let's say, Pizza Hut restaurants, Pizza Hut restaurants. Tenemos que, uh, tiene que haber ahí paralelismo, ¿verdad? Are there any Pizza Hut restaurants, right? Yes, okay. there are a lot of Pizza Hut restaurants around. Is there a police station next to your workplace? No, there isn't, okay? Thank you, guys, good job. And just check it. Solo vayan tomando ahí apuntes de lo que les ayude a usted para mejorar más adelante. Okay, but that's okay. Uh, let's see, and uh, we finish with you, Ileana. Let's go. Mm, Sonia. Okay. Yes. Work. I work at uh, Supermicro. And you? Well, I work at uh, Bark. There is there any restaurant next to your company? Yes, there is six restaurant. There is a uh, open restaurant, but the why are there any post office? Yes, there is a lot of bar around. Is there a Police in the station is to you were place. Yes, there is. Okay, thank you, ladies. Yes, there are a lot of bars. 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 Parece que eso es lo que mencionaron ahí. Bars, ¿verdad? 
Yes. Go. Bars. Uh -huh. Bars. Are there any bars? Yes, there are a lot of bars around. Okay, thank you, guys. So now let's continue. We're going to talk in these um, minutes that we have about some adjectives and look at the following adjectives. We have beautiful, comfortable, huge, ugly, dirty, and tiny. Okay, so let's repeat it with me. Beautiful. 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 Beautiful or beautiful. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. or beautiful. Uh, comfortable. 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 Huge. 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 Ugly. 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 Dirty. 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 And tiny. 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 Let's see. So let's match the pictures. What do you think? Picture one. So can you uh, match that with the correct adjective? Um, Delicious. <laughs> Picture one. Mango. A mango. So what is a mango? So that's a mango. This there is a mango. Is a mango. There is a beautiful mango, a huge mango, a tiny mango. Beautiful. A beautiful mango and delicious mango. Okay, how about the flower? Uh, so give me a description. Mango. There is a, how about this one? And delicious. That is a beautiful flower. <laughs> okay. That Number beautiful three. Huh? Beautiful flower. Picture three. Comfortable. Comfortable. Okay. Comfortable. Comfortable. Huh? Cat. The cat <laughs> is sitting on a comfortable sofa, right? Comfortable sofa. Let's see. How about the next picture? Uh Ugly. Okay. <laughs> so who's that? Who's that? Okay. It is a beautiful, like my cousin. <laughs> Chucky. Yes. Okay, or Chuck. And how about this? So what do you think? Dirty. Dirty. And how about the next picture? We have a big hat and beautiful. Tiny. A tiny hat. Oh, so it's a tiny. small, uh -huh, tiny, tiny, tiny. tiny. So it's a small uh, hat, right? Pequeñito. Okay, again, beautiful, comfortable, huge, ugly, dirty, and tiny. Tiny. Uh, Caesar, can you repeat it, please? Tiny. Okay, uh, Wilfredo, could you repeat the adjectives, please? Wilfredo, hello. I mean. Where is Wilfredo? I left. Um, Karen, please help us. Hola, chicos, me escuchan? Um, okay. What? Repeat the adjectives, adjectives, please. Thank you. What? What? Other? What? Adjectives? This one, this one. Teacher? Sorry, I, I, I went for a coffee. <laughs> I went for a coffee. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yes. No, I don't like coffee a lot. Let's see. So let's analyze the following uh, how to use um, adjectives. So we have positive Teacher. adjectives and negative adjectives. Look at the following examples. There are comfortable rooms. There is a huge parking lot. There, is, there are nice places to rest. There is a, an illuminated training room. Negative adjectives. So they show us a negative idea about something. There is a narrow reception area. So that is a, so what is narrow? So what's the word in, in Spanish for the word narrow? Any idea? Narrow? No? Teacher. Hola, Wilfred. Ah, y que le estuve contestando anteriormente y que no me escuchaba. Sí, no, no le escuchaba. El problema fue con, con Zoom, que me sacó de la reunión. Ok. 
Thank you, Wilfredo. Sí, me alcancé a escuchar algunas. Alguna. Thank you, Wilfredo. Okay, um, let's continue with this one. Narrow. Narrow means estrecho. Estrecho, angosto. Ajá, angosto. Muy bien. There are small offices. There is a disgusting kitchen area. And there is a smelly living room. So when we talk about positive adjectives, we mention about some features that probably um, are good about something. So we describe something and we describe it in a positive manner, but we use some adjectives to describe that. And when we use negative adjectives, we're talking about some adjectives that probably describe a something, a person or a place or whatever that you want to describe in a negative way, right? So narrow, angosto, small, muy pequeño, disgusting, desagradable, right? Smelly, so what's the meaning for smelly? Smelly? Any ideas? Sordiente. Smelly? No. Maloliente. Maloliente, right. So there is a smelly, uh -huh, there is a smelly yeah. toilet, right? <laughs> and uh, company, I don't know, bro. So that's what we mean when we talk about negative adjectives, right? So the word that you use, so that's the meaning that you will transfer, that, we, that you will um, give to others, right? So now I'm going to show you something else um, about these adjectives. So we're going to learn a little bit about adjectives. In an adjective, um, so we have the following definition. So they describe a noun, right? They describe that taste, for example, sweet. They describe uh, a noun by the color, for example, orange. Uh, in this case, they will say a pop cycle, um, a sweet pop cycle or something like that. And orange tiger so we also uh, talk about the smell a yummy some yummy eggs so we talk about appearance or opinion like pretty when say she's a pretty girl the size so all of these uh talk all of these um words in the um, squares show some characteristics that we use in order to describe, right? People or places. The size, we talk about size, tall, feels, for example, um, the texture, soft, a soft uh, rabbit, for example. Hablamos también de textura, suave, hard, heavy. Uh, well, not, not heavy. Uh, sounds, for example, quiet. We also talk about numbers. Numbers can be um, can be adjectives too. The behavior. We have funny, a funny person. Uh, let me see. Okay. So now I'm going to show you a presentation where you can learn more about it. So hold on. Give me a second. So I lost. Okay, can you see the presentation, guys? Yes? Tell me. All right. Mm -hmm. So we're going to learn a little bit about the order of the adjectives. So how to build them, how to construct a sentence that is grammatically correct. So which one is correct? So what do you think? A big white dog or a white big dog? The first one or the second one? So what do you think? I only see the, the, the first slide. Ah, okay. okay. Thank you, Karen. So which mm -hmm. one is correct for you guys? A big white dog or a white big dog? A big white dog. A big white dog. Okay. 
So how about the rest? Los demás, ¿qué piensan? What do you think? So we're going to learn that. So I let's... Be a big white dog, okay? Got it? The first one. Okay. I think that I think that the thing I think white dog. Okay, so let's check it. So the order that we follow when we uh, use adjectives in our sentences is the following. So we have the the following acronym: OSAS Comp, right? Pueden utilizar este acrónimo. Um, so if you notice, we start with O S A S C O M, right? So you can use that acronym in order to place the adjectives in that <laughs> order. For example. Hola. ¿Qué pasó otra vez? Salió. No, aquí estoy. Okay. Um, let's continue. Sorry, guys. I'm having some trouble. What happened? I'm having some troubles with the internet. But um, let's check it. Uh, opinion. Um, Gabriela, can you read the um, opinion adjectives? Opinion, silly, beautiful, horrible, difficult, good, bad, ugly, smart, d dumb, dumb, uh -huh. dumb, dumb. Que es dumb? Dumb. It's like silly, bobo, mm. a little bit like tonto, like that. Something like that. Okay. No. Uh, dumb. No, mm. dumb. So we're talking about opinion adjectives. So what do you think about a someone or something, right? The size, uh, Karen, continue, please. The size, size adjectives. Size adjective, large, tiny, enormous. Okay, uh, age, adjectives, Caesar. Okay, uh, ancient, new, young, old, antiquated. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Qué barbaridad. laughs> <laughs> <risa> bueno, que nos vaya, que nos vayamos a dormir, dice la lluvia. <risa> <risa> ok, bueno. Pero sí me escuchó. Sí, casi no. escuché antes de que corte. <risa> ok, ya, yeah, sorry, guys. Sí, sí parece que ahí sí más había problemas, pero va a llover. <risa> Bien, um, let's continue. Uh, shape. We have a square, round, flat, rectangular, and circular. Uh, color adjectives like blue, pink, red, gray, purple, dark, green, navy blue. So it's blue, right? Origin. So we talk about the origin of a person or, so, or a, an object too. French, lunar, American, Greek, Korean, Chinese, and Italian, right? And the material, wooden, metal, cotton, paper, iron, and gold, right? So we have a size, age, shape, color, origin, and material, right? So this is the order that you need to follow. So we normally add only three adjectives in order to describe something. But if you're a poet or something <laughs> like that, if that's your profession, so you'll probably include all of them, right? Normalmente solo agregamos tres adjetivos para escribir algo. Así agregamos más, pues escucho, escucho un poco raro, a menos que se sea poeta. Let's see. Any question about this? About the words? 
material, for example? No? Guys, questions about the vocabulary? No question. No questions, we have to finish. <laughs> okay, so let's analyze the following chart. Uh, the order of the adjectives. So we have uh, the determiner of the subject in this case, and look at the following um, columns. So we have opinion adjective. So these adjectives describe a physical description. They give us information about physical description. Size, age, shape, and color. Next is the region. Later on, we add the material, a qualifier, in the noun. Y acá vamos a ubicar lo que vamos a describir. For example, Paco's beautiful gray Italian Mac. So what's a Mac? Uh -huh. or, or even you can modify that, right? So you can say, um, Paco's beautiful gray Italian laptop or something like that. Right? The big new British plane. So notice that we have added only three adjectives because that's normal, right? But you can add more. Um, let's see, uh, Wilfredo, can you read the next one? This one, your. Hey, your opinion hey. okay. surprise me. Check brown, colored yellow, material plastic, no ball. Uh -huh. Okay, so you're surprising round yellow plastic balls. So, and when you read it in Spanish, you will read it. Pelota. Uh -huh. La pelota, right? The next one, his shirt, shape, color, dark, and the noun hair. His shirt, dark hair. Su cabello. It's corto y oscuro. Mm -hmm. Corto, oscuro, right? Andres. Andres. Tall. Uh -huh. Tall. Young. Young. What? La hermana amable, alta y joven de Andres. The next one. Please um, uh, pay attention to this. We have huge size, a huge origin, American material, silver, qualifier, hunting, noun, gone. Cuando hablamos de aquí de qualifier, estamos hablando del propósito. ¿Para qué se utiliza? A huge American silver hunting gun. Un arma, una pistola. Enorme, americana, de plata, para, ¿para qué cosa? Hunting. Disparar. Para, disparar. para cazar. Para cazar. Para cazar. Uh -huh. Let's see. Several strong, all South, South African rugby players. Rugby players. The next one and the last one. Some marvelous square wooden Frames, algunos cuadros, uh, very good, marvelous, that's the meaning, marvelous, very good, square, wooden frames, cuadrados de, ¿qué cosa? ¿Qué material sería esto? Madera. De madera, uh -huh, de madera. Entonces, no necesariamente mm, nos vamos acá a poner a ubicar los sobres. Si el propósito es indicar, eh, por ejemplo, en este caso, el lacón, indicar el propósito de ese sustantivo, pues lo ubica acá, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, yo podría decir un saco de dormir, ¿verdad? A sleeping bed. A sleeping, no una cama que tiene el señor, ¿verdad? Está durmiendo. Es una... Uh, sleeping o a sleeping no 
el otro ejemplo era a stick. A walking stick. So what is this? A walking stick. Walking stick. So let's consider this as palo, bastón, para, walking. Para Ajá, entonces, ¿qué sería? Un bastón. A walking stick. Un bastón, right? Un bastón. Pues no necesariamente, si el, si el propósito que usted tiene es hablar de, del propósito del, del sustantivo, pues lo ubica ahí, ¿verdad? Pero no, no siempre. Podría uh -huh. nada más querer mencionar el origen. Ah, ok, ¿de dónde es? So I have a, a beautiful Italian um, Acer computer. Let's say. Uh, your, for example, your amazing round yellow plastic uh, glass of water. Let's say. <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, small. Look at this. A uh, small. British gold hunting gun. So that is not very difficult. So take a screenshot because we're going to use it right now. So take a screenshot. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. You ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so here you have again the, um, the order, opinion, size, age, shape, color, origin, material, and purpose. And we finish with this. Uh, Karen, can you read the example? Yesterday, uh, I go. A beautiful, small, new, pink, French, plastic hairbrush. Okay. ¿Qué compró? Una hermosa, pequeña, nueva, rosado, francés, algo así se llama. Uh -huh. Rosado, francés. Ajá, rosado, francés. Plástico y cepillo de, de pelo. Un cepillo de pelo. Entonces, se puede agregarle tres nada más. No necesario que le ponga todo eso. Well, that's cool, right? So let's finish with this. A beautiful table. So try to give me the correct order. Include the adjectives. A beautiful table. So what goes first? So we have to add the adjectives. Tenemos que meter estos adjetivos que están acá. En el orden correcto. So what do you think? Okay, so let's read it. A beautiful round wooden table, right? Okay. So round. So what kind of adjective is this one? Shape, right? Shape. Uh -huh. La forma, ¿qué forma Redonda. tiene? La mesa? Redonda. ¿De qué material? Uh, okay, ¿cuál es mi opinión acerca de esa mesa? Sí, hermosa. Es bonita, ¿no? es hermosa. How about an unusual ring? An unusual gold ring. ¿De qué es el anillo? De oro. De oro. De oro. Sí, es inusual. How about a new jacket? Um, a nice? A nice new jacket. Okay. A nice new jacket. Perfect. An old house. An old beautiful old, old house. So let's check it. You sure? No, right? Ahí no, ahí teníamos que ver otra vez el orden. Ah, ¿Qué va primero? Ah, la ah, opinión, ah, ¿verdad? Ah, ah, Biorico, ah, y después ah, va H. Aunque no vayan en el orden, digamos, en el orden así, eh, empiezo con opinión, después voy con la talla. No, siempre tienen que seguir el orden, aunque no estén todos los elementos. So, a beautiful old house. House. Uh -huh. And number five, black gloves. Leather. So, what's leather? Leather, leather, leather. 
Cuero. De cuero. Guantes de. A letters were black. A letters gloves black. Black. Let's go. Empezamos con el color. Después va el material. Y después va lo que estamos describiendo, el adjetivo. Entonces, nada más para terminar. Tómale una captura de pantalla ahí. Y les voy a dejar ahí otros para que ustedes los terminen. Tomen otra captura ahí para que ustedes los terminen. Ready? Yes. Okay. Yes. Entonces solo los terminen y me los envíen para verificarlos. ¿sí? So that's up to you. Okay, and just to conclude. Okay, just to conclude, let's finish with this. So we use adjectives to. ¿Para qué utilizamos los adjetivos, chicos? For describe. Mm -hmm. To describe what? Describir algo, información. To describe. Somebody or something, right? Alguien o algo. Places, objects, whatever, right? People, animals. And adjectives can be before. Y los adjetivos pueden estar antes de. Un sustantivo, un sustantivo o después de vamos a ver qué me responde esta adjectives can be after ver verbo ver to be example a beautiful country un país hermoso el salvador is Beautiful. Entonces veamos, acá, ¿qué tenemos acá? El adjetivo y aquí tenemos el, lo que estamos describiendo. Pero también podemos hacerlo de la forma opuesta. El sustantivo que vamos a describir, el to be y el adjetivo. Esas serían las dos formas en las que ustedes pueden describir algo. Y acá, si utilizan esta forma, recuerden que acá pueden incorporarles todos los adjetivos que vimos según ese orden, ¿verdad? No necesariamente los que vimos, hay muchísimos más. Pero a lo que voy es que acá pueden ir ustedes incorporando más de un adjetivo, pero siempre manteniendo el orden que vimos en, en la diapositiva que compartíamos del, del orden de los adjetivos. Let's see, let's modify it a little bit. A beautiful American jacket, for example. Una chaqueta hermosa americana. Or even you can talk about the age, right? A beautiful old American jacket. Miren, ustedes van modificando eso y agregándole más ahí a su descripción. Ok, so we're going to stop in here. Nos vamos a quedar hasta por acá, chicos. Solamente pasamos la asistencia en unos segunditos. Y hacemos el cierre de la despedida. Veamos. Me ayudan ahí diciendo presente. Eh, Gabriela María Guevara. Present teacher. Thank you, Gabriela. Gerson Romel Vázquez. Hello, hello, Gerson. Okay. Ileana Estela Serrano de Candelario. Present. Thank you, Ileana. Isaías Santana González. Present. Thank you. Jessica Ivette Ileana Sarabia. Present. José Eduardo Valdés Martínez. Present. Thank you. Julio César Fabián Zelaya. Thank you, Julio. Karen Leticia Present. León Rivera. Thank you, Karen. 
Luis Alberto Cruz Monarca. Present teacher. Thank you, Luis. María Elena González García. Mirna Janet Saldaña de Espinosa. Present. Thank you, Mirna. Omar Alexander Palacio Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Paula Jimena Cornejo Álvarez. Sonia Maricela Tejada Sánchez. Sonia. Present. Thank you, Sonia. Virginia del Carmen Vázquez Ventura. Present, present teacher. Wilfredo Armando Rosales Torres. Present teacher. Thank you, Wilfredo. Ok, so that's all, guys. Bueno, chicos, nos quedamos hasta por acá. Me hubiera gustado compartir todavía más con ustedes, pero terminamos por acá. Y eh, pues espero que ya pronto estén iniciando el módulo 2. De mi parte, pues eso ha sido todo por este módulo. Espero que lo hayan disfrutado y lamento ahí las interrupciones que tuvimos ahí de, con el internet. Siempre se dan percances así a veces. Pero ya vamos a descansar, ¿verdad? <ríe> Ok, gracias chicos por todo. Si alguien tiene dudas, pues puede quedarse. No, nos vamos a descansar ya. Gracias, Aurelio. Gracias, teacher. Gracias, teacher. Gracias, gracias. 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 Thank you, guys. Para de seguir así de pista con coca. See you later, teacher. Thank you, guys. Cualquier cosa ahí estamos en WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Cualquier cosa ahí estamos en WhatsApp. Okay. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.